In this lesson, we will see the step automation process. This is quite simple. First, I create a sequence. I will create a new step track and add a synth. I will add a simple 303. I am only adding a single note. This note plays through the full length of my step, as you can hear. Now I will go and add a step modulation. I open the dedicated step modulation window and assign my step modulation one of the parameters. For example, for this plugin, I have cutoff. I will assign it and push the encoder to validate. For the second, I will assign a distortion and push the encoder to validate. I assign my two VST modulations and now have a dedicated window here. I open the step modulation tab and indeed you can see that I have distortion and cutoff configured. I am now set to negative one and have no actions. When I am above negative one from zero to five twelve, I will start modulating the sound. I change the first one and set it to four. The full length of my track will be set to four. Now I want to modify some of the other steps. I'm going to modify this one, for example. Then this one here. This feature allows us to use the rhizome as an effect sequencer. Once again, I set it above negative one. I'm doing it with distortion, and we'll set this one really high. I can also add a third one this time. I will assign resonance. Again, I rotate the encoder. It shows in red until I push the encoder to validate. Now we can see it shows up in this window over here. I'm now going to add some resonance, but using another process. The step modulations work with all the VST instrument parameters. So every time it's the VST instrument who's displayed in the track, allowing us to use those parameters for sequencing. <laughs> 